हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग गुड आफ्टरनून नमस्ते आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस जेंटेंगल सेशन आई एम योर होस्ट निधि प्रकाश सी जी टी सर्टिफाइड जेंटेंगल टीचर एंड माई को होस्ट इज माई हजबेंड अजय प्रकाश हे अजय हे एवरी वन ही इज हेल्पिंग मी इन द चैट विद द अकाउंट ए पी म्यूजिक एंड रिप्लाइंग योर आंसर्स इन द चैट so let's start today we are going to draw one beautiful zentangle tile based on the valentine theme we are going to have five zentangle sessions based on the valentine theme this is the first out of those five and we need a 3 and 1/2 inch square paper or the sheet and few 2 inch square uh, paper tiles if you don't have paper tiles you can just draw few 2 and 1/2 inch square Two uh, inch square, uh, these square on the paper, and as well as three and a half inch square on the paper. You can cut them as a tile. You can use any zentangle tile. You can buy from Amazon or from zentangle store, or you can cut on on your own of your own paper choice tile tiles. We need a. black marker pen graphite pencil and something for the blending so let's start we are going to learn lots of tangles with their names first and then we are going to start our tile if you are here with me in our last session we did this tile in our first zentangle session we learned doodles poke root poke leaf tiples we learned all these four beautiful tangle pattern and we made this beautiful frame style tile in our last session so today we are going to do something like that but obviously with different angles so first tangle which i'm going to use is a sprinkle so let me just focus in here so generally we used to write our all uh, pattern name or tangle name or anything which which we are, whichever whatever we want to write about our tile on the back of the tile but i am going to repeat it on the front also just for this video purpose this is the name of the tangle which we are going to draw so in this first we just draw one this twig kind of shape round this will be the first step second step is to draw one more or a like this this will be our second step third step will be just this draw the inner line and then we will draw few little these humps on the top and this is a beautiful pattern the best part of this pattern is you can twist it on any direction are these all 3.5 inch square papers this is a 2 inch square paper where i am just drawing the tangles with their name but our actual um, tile will be the 3 and 1/2 inch square where we are going to draw the whole tile so again i am just showing you one more time first draw a twig then all of that twig inner line and few humps and i'm just going to fill the center 
that's it and you can draw them as many as you want let me draw one more if you are joining late and if you miss the steps first draw the twig then aura the twig draw the inner line and then lots of humps in any direction they can be of any number and they can float to any direction that's why this is a beautiful organic pattern we are going to use this pattern in our today's style and for the shading these inner area we are going to use our graphite pencil any graphite pencil will work here and little shading in these humps to give it a little bit more dimension and we can use our blending stamp just to give it a little bit more smooth blending so this will be our first tangle which we are going to use today a sprinkle our second pattern it will be ginger z i n g e r this will be our second pattern generally they both go together very well so in this one there are various ways like various variations but the basic step is to draw the twig like this one and now in this twig we are not going to aura the whole twig we are just going to aura this circle here and then one more bigger and now we are going to just making these So this is the basic style of drawing the oops it's coming wrong basic step of drawing the ginger i'm drawing one more style in this one we can draw the stem with two lines and drawing this this bigger and then we keep on making the smaller this is again beautiful organic pattern and you can shift it to any direction wherever is required let me draw one more quickly here As you see if you want we can give one more variation in this one like we can just fill one leave one this is again one more variation so the benefit of doing this exercise is when I'm going to use these uh, tangles in our original tile you can choose your own style you can change it like if suppose i'm using this way you can use this one or maybe you can use the other one and the shading is we are going to shade it from the borders and then we are just going to blend it to get to get a complete look this is one style of shading other style we can just shade from the base here and just from the top here so again shading style is also you know it based on your whatever you feel like you can go ahead and you can shade accordingly they are looking pretty right So now our third tangle which we are going to use today in our valentine based theme tile is 
I B E X I Bex. And they the tangles whatever we are using today all are the Zentangle original tangles. So that's why I'm just writing Z. This is the all are the Zentangle original tangle. They have been introduced by the Zentangle headquarters. So the ibex tangle, this is again a beautiful organic tangle. Please look carefully. This is again, you can extend it to any direction and you can play it whatever way you want, play with it. So first, this kind of beautiful S-curve, we are going to draw the S-curve. With little spiral at the end and then either and we are going to extend it and draw the other curve and that's how whatever area we want we can go ahead and we can fill that area so either the C curve or the S curve we are going to use in this beautiful pattern so if you want you can go ahead and you can use s curve or maybe you can use c curve so that's how you are going to fill this whole section and whatever the leftover area we are seeing we are going to aura that area So this is pretty organic the best part is whatever you are drawing and whatever I am drawing will have different uh, kind of you know different kind of the pattern at the end but when we are using it in a particular area in the section we can fill the whole section uh, with this beautiful tangle. You can use it whatever the space is left over is uh, you have and then these beautiful sections we are just going to draw a lot of parallel lines you can extend these in any direction and you can use them in any ways whatever your tile is requiring so this is basically a combination of the C pattern and the S C curve and the S curve In the shading in this inner filling area oops I forgot to draw the lines in this one and then we are going to blend them for the blending you can use paper stamp you can use these tortillons you can use q-tips whatever stuff you have you can go ahead and you can use them and you see I already have little graphite on my this q-tip this uh, tortillon so I'm just using that on these little spiralish section I call this technique soft blending that's it so to enhance this technique we can you know at the very edge if you want we can just make these little perfs this is our this is on our own 
you know a wish however we want to decorate our this whole tangle so i'm just leaving it here if you want you can continue it all the way around and it will look really very pretty so these are the three tangles which we are going to use here is one more and this is my favorite tangle i have used this tangle a lot flux and basically there are two variations of this tangle one is the maria's version maria's version and one is the rick's version they both are the zentangle uh, founders so uh, first i'm doing the maria's version this is just to draw little this leaf kind of pattern and then you know it looks like kind of a bunch Can extend them so this is basically Maria's version and this is again Zentangle original pattern as they it has been uh, suggested by the Rick and Maria so this is one style and in between these spaces we can use our tipple uh, pattern which we did in our last session if you remember let me grab it tipples are just basically circle shapes or the orbs so these circles we can fill these leftover spaces to complete this pattern These are little tipples, little orbs. They are beautiful fillers, right? And before I tell you the second variation, let me just first give little shading in this flux. So this is just one style of the flux and the other variation of the flux is like going in any direction ricks that's the ricks version like suppose one leaf is going in this direction so maybe other will start from here and like this maybe other can go a little down maybe other can go so this is really very free style of the version and you can fill whatever area you have it's a it can be used as a beautiful filler in the outside of any pattern and again you can use tipple in this one too to complete the pattern and inside of these leaves you can give these little directional inner lines so both are the flux it is a very versatile pattern and you can use these leaf like pattern in uh, various tangles in used as a filler used as the main tangle and you can use colors and different other elements to enhance it so these are the five tangles which we are going to use today in our tile so 
now i am waiting for everybody to complete these tangles in your journal in your paper in your tiles wherever you guys are doing them and please write down in the chat when you guys are done with all these five tangles and then we'll start the our main tile we'll start our main valentine based theme tile together thank you gitanjali there you go so the main tile is gitanjali 3 and a half inch tile this is a 3 and a half inch tile which we are going to use after this so if you don't have the tile just draw a 3 and a half inch square on your paper and later on if you want you can cut it i'm waiting ankita so till then Uh, please everyone whoever is drawing along with me please write down one in the chat and whoever is just enjoying watching the session please write down two in the chat thank you kate sonia rashmi Thank you Snyder, Annie, Anita, Luisi, Cici. Thank you everyone. So now we'll start our tile. Yes, thank you everyone for your reply. Let's start. So I'm not removing them from the screen. They are here. I will try to keep them so that you guys can see right okay so let's start let me just set it up so that they all are visible yes so this is our main tile and here first we are going to draw the dot okay so whenever we are making any zentangle tile the first step is the gratitude or the appreciation so i would like everyone whoever is either drawing with me or not drawing just to feel gratitude about something whatever you want to say i want to say thank you to all of you join me today in this beautiful morning and i'm thankful to all the supplies i have and this time we are spending together or whatever makes your heart happy and you want to feel gratitude about please do so you can close your eyes for a few seconds and you can feel that and yeah that's the first step of the zentangle method so let's start with a happy heart and then the second step is to draw the dots into the corner of your tile third step is to draw the border keep your lines very light keep your lines very very light and now we are drawing our um a string so before i draw the border i would like everybody to draw a heart into the center of the tile take your time draw light something like this and after that we are going to draw our this frame 
we are going to draw the line double so wherever this heart is coming just stop at that place and then start drawing in the other direction that's it this is our string and now time for the tangles Thank you flavored cooking. So first in this side of heart we are going to use flux tangle. Okay Ankita Abhijanya I am waiting for few more seconds and we are going to use the Maria's version flux in this one. Oops here this one this pattern we are going to start now so shall I start yes thank you so look carefully we are going to draw flux at each side of this whole side of this heart okay so and if you want you can draw it with the pencil and then retrace it with the pen that is absolutely fine okay if you want you can use your favorite color pen or you can use the black marker pen the way I'm using. So inside leaf are going towards the left hand direction. Like this. They are kind of touching when they are ending. They are touching with each other leaf so keep drawing so I'm first drawing towards the inner side of the heart Draw slow, take your time. And I'm keep I'm rotating my tile as you can see. So this is just first side yes Rohini you can start now because so far we just learned all these five tangles which we are going to use in this tile so we just started the tile this is a three and a half inch square tile we just drew the string the border and the heart and we are using this flux tangle inside definitely you can join now we are going to complete this pattern and we are going to draw the same thing to the other side outside so outside they will go in opposite direction towards the right hand side like this and they are touching with each other we are not leaving a space here and this is a beautiful organic tile they look beautiful if they are of the different sizes little bit bigger and smaller they will give beautiful look and don't worry let it fall over the border
also this is the complete side of the flux tangle towards the heart and towards the right side of the heart and this left side of this half line we are going to use the sprinkle and the ginger So shall I start with the sprinkle and ginger now? So I'm starting from this base with the sprinkle one. So it's going outside first with the twig. This is the first step. Second step is to aura that twig. Third step is to draw this inner line. And the fourth step is to draw the little these humps on the top. You can make them a little bit more lower, a little bit more upside. It is absolutely fine. That's why they are the organic pattern and you can, uh, you know, let them flow in whatever direction you feel like. So this will be my first sprinkle. And I'm starting the second sprinkle from here again. And it is again going towards the left hand side. And then aura that sprinkle. Fill it and after this I want to draw one more sprinkle that's starting from here but that's going inside. like this so as you see it's coming from the bottom so I'm not drawing over the second sprinkle I just left it so take your time look carefully and here it's Coming for the second line, this is the inner line and here I am going to turn it this way. So that's the fun, you know, this this the uh, head or the cap of this sprinkle, you can turn it around to the bottom side, upside or in any direction. So that's why they are very free flow uh, tangle and I really love them because of this thing and because they are they are very versatile to use and you can set them in whatever way you want or your pattern is asking you to do that. Now in this third one I'm starting again from here. Because we have to maintain the this heart shape, right? Or other twig. Draw this inner line. We are going to do shading at very last. And then here is the cap. Little humps. Now I would like to add one ginger in it that's again going little inside here with the double stem and Then beautiful 
little plants i'm just going to use this ginger and i just really i really want to give it little accent so as you remember we did this half fill You can fill this hole also if you want and then you can use the white jelly roll pen later on the center part to give this a sparkle or you can leave in the beginning while filling it's your choice how you want to do it so this is one sprinkle with little variation and now again we are going to use our one more this sprinkle going inside so you can set them up in whatever direction you want just maintain the heart shape that is what we want and i would really like to see how you are coming up with your own style that is the fun with the zentangle that you all are drawing with the same instructions but but still when i'm going to see the submissions they all will look very different and when you add your own element it really makes me very happy to see the beautiful different style with the same tangles so i'm trying to maintain this heart shape here with the same sprinkle pattern now i'm making the aura line and the inner line and these beautiful heads now in this top part first I would like to draw one is going little out here just to you know create the drama in this beautiful tile because they are going in all direction if we make all in one direction they won't give you that beautiful look so that's why I'm just creating them uh, you know going anywhere then inner lines and their little heads so now when I see this either I can stop here or maybe I can just draw one more spring one more this ginger here with very subtle style and you see you can turn them in any direction or whatever space you have you can set them up in the flux again I'm I really want these flux to give one you know um, inner layer like this so draw this inner aura line in all the flux leaf this is a one variation of the flux so there are unlimited ways to enhance your tangle you can make your own style you can use different color pencils for these inner lines different color pens you can make these aura lines with some dotted lines maybe with some you know dot broken straight lines so there are various ways you want to use you want to enhance your these tangles
if your paper support then you can use watercolor color pencils and then you can use that watercolor brush to give that beautiful shaded look draw slow have fun enjoy the process that's the main purpose of this art they all are the non-representational art because of that valentine theme i'm just keeping it into this heart shape that's the only thing i just want to intact the heart shape but still it's not really important whatever is coming to your mind and whatever way you want to draw whatever gives you happiness you can draw that way and then in the center i'm just going this line remember in that uh, rick's version he drew these inner stems to give these little round dimension i'm using that too so i'm kind of mixing the both style as well as i added my own element of that double aura in this one so if you are coming up with your own element of your own style of decorating this tangle go ahead and try that and don't forget to submit your artwork once you are done you can submit your artwork either at my facebook or at my discord so you can download the discord app and then you can join my discord the nightbot is giving the discord link again and again in this chat thank you so sometimes you see you are not able to see all the chat so on the top of the chat there are two options top chat and live chat so if you keep your uh, option on the live chat you are able to see all the chats but if you keep it on the top chat then it will you know just show you few chats and it will uh, like kind of cut off others one so you are not able to see all the chats so in the option on the top if you click on the chat you will get two options live chat and top chat that's what i'm asking so if you want to see all the chats click on the live chat look when you enhance the tangle it looks so beautiful so right now we haven't done any you know shading or anything so that's why it's looking little raw at this at this stage but when we are going to give it shading and if you are if you want you can give it coloring and all then you'll see a lot of difference in this one and now we'll come to the border first so as you see in the border First, I'm drawing this inner line. As you see, I'm drawing a little bit of the outside of the pencil. So that's the fun with the pencil drawing that you can fix it. If you feel like that it's looking very wide or not looking the way you want and I drew so light with the pencil ever so light so that you know I can easily just don't bother about it because it will hide eventually when I'm going to use my pen and draw all my tangles over it if you want you can use eraser no worries now is the time for the tipple and the ibex we have used flux we have used ginger we have used sprinkle right now it's the time for this ibex and the tipple so as you see this leftover area here inside the frame but not inside the heart we are going to use the ibex as the filler so you can use your black marker pen or if you want to use any base color to give here you can use your color pen and as you remember 
we are going to draw the S curve first. Thank you, Gita. So tell me, I'm using Micron Zero Pair, Micron Zero One, Pigma Sakura, and the tip size is zero point two five mm. And after this, after this S curve, I'm going to draw a few C curve. And I keep on drawing them until I fill all this area. That's the fun with this kind of pattern. They are so, you know, the loose pattern. You can use them whatever way you want. When you are using any grid pattern or something, you know, then, then you are fixed. You have to draw the grid and you have that specific space. You have to have that specific space to draw that pattern. But these kind of loose pattern, they are beautiful filler pattern and you can use them whatever space you are left with so it is very useful pattern in that way right You can start with the S and then you can continue with lots of C's or S, whatever you are, whatever you want or you have a space and then fill the leftover area with Draw as if they are going back side of your these filler tangle. Don't worry, right now they might be giving you a little, you know, um, very, you know, maybe too much chaos is happening right now and they all are mixing with each other. But when we'll do shading, they will separate it with each other and then it will look very pretty. So don't worry. Thank you, Sujata. Thank you, Flavored Cooking. Thank you, Yogita. So keep drawing this Ibex pattern here. You can use S curve or you can use C curve. It's absolutely your choice or whatever the leftover area is. Just aura that area and draw the lots of parallel lines in those shapes it will become the background of the frame at the end when we'll do the shading and it will complete the whole pattern and bring this whole together you see when you are going to give the shading, it will really look very, very pretty. And keep rotating your tile. I hope you can see all the patterns with their names. Draw as if they are kind of hiding with the pattern. Some of the part is hiding behind. And 
And now this top part here. So first I'm just drawing all these C curves and the S curves and then I'm going to draw all the fillers. Here you go. Keep drawing. And tomorrow I have my advanced Zentangle workshop. In this, we are going to learn some advanced lesson plans about the Zentangle. Some reticulas, fragments. And different other topics here. I leave this area. It happens so often. Ta-da! We are done with the Ibex pattern. And now it's the time for the tipple. So in this pattern which we draw on the border, I'm just going to draw, you know, one more a little wavy line at the both side. If it is looking way too much for you, you can leave that thing. Okay, guys, don't worry. I want to draw the tipple inside of these two inner lines. And I'm making these inner lines a little wavy to maintain the theme of the organic tangles. So I drew the original borderline, little straightish, and this inner aura line of these borders are a little wavy. But if you feel like that it is really difficult for you to aura the frame, you can leave this part, okay guys? And you can draw directly the tipple. Tipple, you remember, we draw the last time and there are various ways of drawing. We are going to use just the circles, but let me focus on this one so that you can see. So first I'm going to circle them. I'm going to draw all these beautiful orbs. And then I'm going to fill them. As in the Zentangle, we always say one stroke at a time. And if you really draw one stroke at a time, you can draw any kind of Zentangle pattern, you know. They are really very easy. And the best part is they are non-representational. You're not representing anything. So... Just enjoy the process and keep drawing. Have fun. They are very meditative for me. Whenever I draw these kind of pattern drawing, either the Zentangle or Zendala, Mandala, Zendoodle, Spiral Art, Whatever kind of the pattern drawing I do, they all are the non-representational artwork. They gives me, they all give me so much satisfaction and sometimes I'm so much into it like as if I'm doing the meditation. So if you feel the same way, please tell me. I'm not the only one. I really want to hear how you feel when you do these kind of art. Or you make your tile do you feel that they take you away from 
all other things in the life you are so much engrossed in drawing here you go and after this I'm going to fill all these circles okay and I'm not going to fill actually the hole I'm just going to fill I'm just going to make a dot inside of them so you are going to see a little white surrounded by these dot did we draw that tipple so actually we are kind of drawing this tipple but the dots are so small that we can't leave that sparkle in between I'm talking about this tipple this one In our last week's uh, this tangle we use the normal circle tipple here but we learned how to draw different variations of this so this is the second variation guys which we are using last in our last session we didn't use that tipple right and after this we'll enhance our tile with the shading And that is the main part of any kind of pattern drawing shading completes the pattern drawing actually it gives life to your pattern drawing that's what I feel before the shading it lives it looks like kind of little incomplete Keep rotating your tiles guys so that you need not to put your hand over your tile. Thank you Ankita. Thank you Monica. So now in these live classes actually I just try to keep it to the black and white our you know classic version of the Zentangles and because of the time purpose also but uh, at home if you want you can go ahead and you can easily use your colors your color pencils so I'm just giving little you know uh, I'm using the graphite pencil any graphite pencil school pencil your uh, b to b whatever graphite pencil you have will work in this one i'm just laying down the graphite and i'm laying down the graphite now this is little precision here little on the border of the flux tangle I'm just going to lay down the graphite on the outside of the flux tangle as well as the inside of the flux tangle so everywhere on the surroundings on the border of the flux tangle okay guys it's okay Ankita But I'm but I just really feel, felt happy that you are happy with your tile that's actually what I want everyone to be feel very happy about your tile I'm just turning it around so that I can use 
this side always keep turning your tile don't keep your hand over your tile this is just a small tile three and a half inch so you can easily turn it around and save your tile not to put your hand over your work sometimes when we are working on a big tile big paper then uh, you need to keep your hand over your work then we use extra sheet of paper to keep below our hand when we do in our graphite art classes then we do this kind of when we use this kind of technique now I'm shading the inside line of the sprinkle to give a little value here as well as on the corners of the ginger and now I'm going a little shading on the borders of the frame inside not the outside guys just the inside okay So right now I'm just laying down the graphite. I'm not blending them. So in the first step, I'm just laying down the graphite and then I'll blend all of them together. That saves time because you need not to, you know, switch on the tortillon and your pencil again and again. So laying down the graphite surrounded by the frame and all the elements yes now it's the time for the shading so for the shading you can use blending stump you can use tortillon you can use q-tip whatever is lying with you you can use little tissue papers the only thing is uh, the you know with the q-tip and the tissue paper that that the graphite might smudge and come over the area where we don't really want them to come like over the oops sorry guys so like over the pattern here on the leaf of the flux we really want them to be outside of the flux so just make sure about it and then you are good you can use anything so first i'm starting inside the flux here in the center portion i'm doing them with little flicking style keep rotating your tiles as and when required and let me first do inside and then we'll come outside and you see when you do these kind of shading it give that 3d look kind of and the beautiful dimension to your patterns This is the inside one and now I'm going to do the outside of the flux over the ibex pattern over the tipple outside of the frame wherever our pattern is going and as I said earlier keep rotating the tile try not to go inside of the pattern and if it goes way too much you can use eraser otherwise you can just leave it like that oops i forgot to give the you know to lay down the graphite in this area of the frame
Here you go. So after doing this, I'm going to show you one same example in colored which I made so that that will give you an idea how you can use colors in them. Let me just finish it and then I'll show you, okay? So I have designed five uh, Zentangle um, sessions next four in the February first week of saturday sunday next week of saturday sunday so two first two first two weeks of the february saturdays and sundays all four zentangle based theme uh zentangle based theme uh, zen, uh, these sessions and then next will be the zendalas You can use a lot of different style. Just give me a moment, guys. I'm going to show you. And here with the ginger, I'm just using my... this blending tool to give a little shading that's it and after that the next step is to write down your chop in that one so my chop is as I showed in my first session is NP Nidhi Prakash your initials you can design your initials whatever way you want I have designed that way and that's what I used on the front of my tile and P and on the back of my tile I sign it with my full name as well as today's date 1.23.21 and you can write down whatever uh, tangles you have used in this beauty in this style on the back of it so whenever you are posting your tile on any social media you can use all these hashtags You can write down Nidhi Prakash Arts and here is the another version the colored version of the same tile as you see here I have used golden color pencil golden pen and this pink watercolor color pencil here I use this pink color is the watercolor which I used inside and the outside and these golden pens and a little bit of these tipple on the borders just to enhance it. So it's your choice you know guys how you want to enhance your tile with the colors with the pattern however you want to do. Thank you, Abhijanya. So we are kind of done with today's drawing, today's uh, pattern. And next four patterns are again based on the uh, based on the Valentine theme. And we can write down here Valentangle also. because we just made the valentine we just use the tangles for the valentine based theme so you can put valentangle 
hashtag two and your own name or whatever thank you nikisha so you can see this recording of this uh, live session on my youtube channel it's always available there and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please go ahead and subscribe it it's absolutely free for you but it will help me growing my channel as well as whenever i go live you will not miss the session because youtube will give you the notification right so that's for all for today and if you want i can show you these are the some zendalas which we are going to make in our further sessions these are the three zendalas in our next three zendala sessions one two three which we are going to make and we made this zendala in our last session and i can't say thank you enough and the happiness which i felt when i see the submissions on my facebook as well as on the discord so discord download the discord app this will be the logo and click on it and in the nprs here you will see the channel name is the art corner and in the art corner look this is the one this abhijanya just posted today and you see nidhi this is beautiful she put colors in that arundhiti beautiful and this is the old some and rupali this is so awesome she did the same thing in the opposite way she used the black paper and the white pen beautiful and shruti extended it to the another level and she added one more layer into the outer side so that is the fun guys and that is and this is the chop of the uh, i think r m is are, are the initials of the manjula and she made the chop like this so i would like you guys to share your chop too make your chop make it as beautiful as you can and share it with me with your work okay in the discord and if you want you can share it this is so beautiful rupa so beautiful color and you can share it at the youtube on my facebook page too this is so beautiful right so that is the fun again mamta rat sun look she also added so beautiful these another layer to this one gayatri raj selene this is so pretty beautiful so that's how and this is actually our first zentangle session and the shruti used some green color pen and anvita put the happy birthday uh, used it as a happy birthday tile and these are the other different variations and you can share your other artwork also whichever you are doing at home this one is through the patreon so that's all guys go ahead and complete your tile and share it with me on discord on my facebook and if you want to give me any uh, of your feedback so there is a channel in the discord the name of that channel is submit feedback you can go ahead and you can give your feedback for today's session or in general if you want to give me any feedback there is one channel named general chat here you want to chat with me and if you want to write down anything or ask anything you can talk with me in this channel and there is a schedule you can see the schedule and this channel is really beautiful upcoming projects here you can see all my upcoming projects till the february and 27th february 20th february 14th february 13th february 7th february 6th february and this is the zentangle workshop which i am going to do it tomorrow this is the paid workshop so this is not available for everyone you have to register for it on my website www.nidhiprakasharts.com you can register for this workshop this one is the paid one this is again the 30th january mandala this we did 16th january and this is what we did today look so yeah in the upcoming project you can see all my upcoming projects which i'm going to do in my sessions 
all the free sessions on YouTube as well as on the, all the paid sessions which I take, which you need re to do registrations. That's all, guys. Thank you, Gitanjali. Bye-bye, everyone. See you in next session. Bye.